I'ma wait till the beat go in. What's going on YouTube? Uh, my name is The Ocean Bear, and today I'll be showing you the real guide to getting the fire bow on New Zombies map Der Eisendrach. Uh There's a lot of misconception online about this um, particular bow. There's a lot of uh, misleading information that it just isn't true. Uh, so today I'll be showing you the correct and proper way of getting this. Uh, so without further ado, the first thing you need to do is get the regular bow. If um, don't know how to do this there's a link in my video to uh, a guide to that then you must go up to a bell tower like I did there shoot the circle in the middle it's gonna drop a broken arrow simply pick it up by hitting square and this will start the, um, the fire bow quest if if you will now I must let you know that this uh, particular bow is uh, kind of hard it's gonna require a lot of points if you're not good at it it's gonna be very frustrating but do not give up. I believe in you. Uh, I'm sure you believe in yourself. So, yeah, the very first thing you need to do after you pick up the broken arrow is uh, find your way to the testing site where the rocket is. You need to do this by going into the basement into the teleporter room. And you're going to need about 500 coins to get there, or 1,500 points to open the door first, and then 500 more to get there. Now, remember, you do need to pick up the broken arrow before you go down here, because there's been times where I just went down there without picking up the broken arrow, and you cannot do this step unless you have the broken arrow picked up. And it'd be quite frustrating, because then you just spent a whole bunch of points going down here for no reason. Now, what you want to do after this is wait until uh, the test goes off, and you can just chill in there for as long as you want. It takes about like five minutes for each test to go off. I believe sometimes it's a little bit faster if you're not in there and you're just killing zombies going through rounds. Now you, uh, you want to make sure that you only have about two zombies following you if you're playing solo. If not, if you're playing with other people, try to get them off of you and just be there by yourself because you need to be close to the door. As soon as the door opens, you need to run outside and shoot a glowing orb on the right side of the building. And this is very hard because it needs to be so precise and fast. As you can see, uh, here I am in slow motion doing it. This time I got it uh, done the first time, first try without fail. Now there's been plenty of other times where I have messed up and it's taken me at least four or five times before I got it done. And it can be really frustrating because you're spending so much time down there. See there? I missed. It needs to be precise. Now I found the best way to do this is to kind of stay far back away from the building and uh, don't actually aim exactly at the orb, aim just above it, at the top. I think that makes it so when the arrow travels down as it's going to, it's going to hit it every time. Okay, so after that happens, there's going to be a ball of light that flies out of that stone, and it's actually going to go up to where the death ray is on the map where the castle is. Um, it's kind of where the uh, packet punch can be, or you pick up some of the packet punch parts. And you're going to be using these Wonder Spears on this next step. And there's going to be rings all over the map, three of them to be precise. And you have to shoot them with your bow while you're flying through the air. And here's a quick look at it without the fire on it. You'll see this around the map, just engravings. There's three of them. I'll show you the locations on these two in just a moment. But they're not going to be lit up unless uh, you're in the air uh, using the Wonder Spear. You can't just jump around and shoot it. You have to use the Wonder Spears. Now there's a couple of Wonder Spears uh, in particular that you have to use, which I actually I think is all of them. And it's going to be um, the one here where the first dragon is, uh, I guess kind of like back there in the hut. And then um, the next one is in the death ray area where the death trap is, and that's going to send you back to where the launch pad is. And then the one in the launch pad going back up, and then one in the courtyard. Okay, so now in order to do this, I found the best way is to pull back your arrow right before you launch off, hold square, and you have to shoot it um, before you land. See there, I messed up, I didn't get it right. But uh, as long as you pull back the arrow and kind of aim yourself before you even launch out into the sky, you should have no problem doing this, because then all you have to do is let go of the arrow once you're lined up with uh, the ring on the ground. As you see here, as soon as it lines up, you just shoot. There's no aiming in the air or anything like that. So if you follow exactly what I did in this video, you should have no problem doing this or getting this done. 
Okay, once you actually do hit the ring with your arrow in the air, it's going to stay lit like this. And uh, this is going to be part of the next step. As you can see here, I only have 100 uh, points left. So a good way to do this, because Wonder Spears take 500 points to, uh, to use, is once you get one and you need more points to get to another one, simply stand in the, the, the lit up circle on the ground because you're going to have to fill it up with zombie souls. And I believe it's about 8 to 10 of them. And you can collect points by doing this while you're filling up the circle. So it's kind of like you're doing two, two things at once. That way you're not wasting time or uh, effort collecting points, killing zombies outside of the circle while you could be killing zombies inside the circle filling it up. Uh, you just have to do about 10 zombies, like I said, I believe. And once you do that, there's going to be a, a beam of light coming out of it, and it's going to fly to the ball of, um, of light above the, uh, the death trap. And see, here's another uh, clip of me actually getting it this time. So for this one in particular, this is what's going to be um, probably the easiest. All you have to do is let go as soon as you see the circle while you're in there. And you just have to take the Wonder Spear from where the first dragon is, uh, right of the spawn, where Double Tap is kind of. And it'll launch you here to where the courtyard is. And here's a, a quick clip of me filling up the, the circle. You're going to want to use the bow. See, that's the beam of light. And that beam of light is going to travel to the orb in the middle, letting you know that you completed that circle. Here's another clip of me completing this circle. And uh, this one's probably going to be the hardest one because you're going to have to use the Wonder Spear from the testing uh, site to up here. But if you follow my steps or my tips on uh, pulling back the bow, before you even launch into this guy, you should have no problem getting this done. It can be quite frustrating and annoying. But I believe in you, and I believe you believe in yourself, so you can do this. Okay, once you actually have uh, filled up all three of these circles, you're going to move on to the next step, which is the most misleading step. And before we get into that, I want to show you exactly uh, how to position yourself in the Wonder Spear in the, the testing site. Right about here, just look down, launch yourself, and as soon as you see the circle lined up with your crosshair, let go. Now, it kind of didn't look like I got it there, and you can actually almost hear a noise when you get it done, letting you know that you actually got it done. And as you can see here, I got it here. Uh, this is probably one of the harder ones for me. The other two are not as hard. But uh, once you get it, you can move on to the next step. Okay, once you have finally completed uh, filling up all of those circles, the one right above there next to the bell tower, the one on the death ray, and the one by double tap, you're going to move back to the bell tower where you originally started the quest, hit square or X on Xbox, I believe it is, and it's going to start this gears, and you're going to see the symbol up there. You need to memorize the symbol, or you can always go back to look at it. It doesn't really matter. Now, this is where, like, a huge misconception happens. People telling you that once you find a symbol, all you have to do is find the corresponding fireplace. There's a symbol there. Pause the video if you need it. And that's going to be the one uh, correctly across the first dragon on the right of the spawn. The second one is here in, uh, I believe, Samantha's room over in that area. That This fireplace in particular has the cross. You can't really see it, but it's always going to be a cross, I believe. And the last one is going to be in the laboratory slash church. There's only three fireplaces. Uh, once you get to the church or uh, laboratory, whatever you want to call it, go to the far end where the dragon's head is, and you can see a symbol there. Now, on previous videos that I've seen online, they say all you have to do is shoot it, and you'll basically finish that part of the quest, but that is wrong. That is not correct at all. What you actually have to do is find that fireplace and you're going to find a ring and you're probably wondering why is this ring still lit up? I thought I filled it with souls. You, well, you probably did. Okay, now what you have to do is stand in the circle and shoot an arrow towards the fireplace that corresponds to the symbol that you got from the bell tower. And when it lands, it's actually going to create a rock. And this is going to be like a chain link hopscotch kind of effect. Go to that rock and so, you, so it's glowing like it, it was on the circle. Uh, for me, my well, the fireplace was in Samantha's room, so I shot an arrow up here, created another rock, and you can only get four arrows. Three to create rocks, and one final one that you have to shoot into the fireplace. So just keep following the rocks, make sure that you're lit up before you shoot it, and uh, once you get to the fireplace, just shoot it, uh, some fire's gonna come out of it, 
you don't have to do anything here. All you have to do is wait a few seconds for the fire to do what it's doing. And as you can see here on the top left, the uh, symbol with your character's face and the circle or whatever shows up, letting you know that you completed this step. Now here's another step that there's a lot of misconceptions saying that you need to kill some kind of zombie next to the fire orb, but that is wrong. That is also not true. All you have to do is go up to the fire orb uh, where the death trap thing is. Simply hit square or X if you're playing Xbox, I think, and you're gonna see it float into the sky, collect a bunch of rock on it, and it's gonna, like, kaboom, and do this cool looking fire explosion, and it's gonna drop a completed fire arrow. Now, all you have to do is pick up the fire arrow, and you have to take it to your ritual area down into the pyramid. So, yeah, just simply pick it up and then find your way all the way back down to the pyramid. Um, and there's gonna be four different rituals. All you have to do is make sure that you find the one that corresponds to the fire one which is going to have like some lava rocks next to it as you see here put the arrow inside the box and this is the last and final step basically before you get the fire bow all you have to do is kill zombies next to it uh pretty close to it doesn't have to be like too close but not far away and you'll see uh zombie souls being collected into the arrow and i think this one requires about 20 or so so you definitely want to just keep your bow out if you have enough arrows for it because it's gonna get hectic and yeah just go ham and uh, kill a bunch of zombies try not to die because you can be uh, kind of close quarters here okay now You'll know when the arrow is complete because it's no longer going to be taking souls. As you see right here, I killed the zombies, no souls are being collected. All you have to do is put it in your bow and it's going to fuse with the arrow. You'll see a beam of light coming out of it. Just wait a few seconds until a beam of light is done and then just go back and pick up your upgraded fire bow. Congratulations. If you followed all the steps correctly, you now have a sick weapon and happy hunting zombies.